Welcome to another food adventure with Getting Lost. We are back at Block 724, Amokyo Central, at Amokyo Central Food Center to eat these foods. Like this, and this. Of course, this also. Mmm, and this. Mmm, wow, and this also. This, and definitely this. So, Let's get to it and let's eat some food. Let's eat! Firstly, we are actually at Amokyo MRT Station which is on the North-South Line. If you refer to the um, video last week, I will give you a detailed directions of how to get there. Unless, or, and the link for that is below here. Or I can just give you a brief, give you brief directions to the location now. First of all, from the uh, Amokyo MRT station, take the escalator to go down and head towards Amokyo Hub. So once you reach the end of the tunnel, you head towards the first escalator up you see, and go up the escalator. Once you reach the top, you're now at the bus interchange and Amokyo Hub. So from here, you need to head to the other end of the shopping mall and let's go to the other end and now we are at the, the other end of the shopping mall so you get go through this uh, entrance and head down the stairs and head straight until you pass you directly get out of the mall and then after that you turn right so basically, at the McDo before the McDonald's, you turn right and you head straight all the way down. So you'll be walking past a lot of shop houses, but just keep heading straight all the way down. Yes, and keep walking straight some more. Keep walking straight until you see this uh, pavilion or this uh, place called Cent Central Stage so at Central Stage you walk to the end of Central Stage and then you turn left after you turn left continue heading straight if you keep walking straight ahead you will finally reach Block 724 Amoco Central which is Amoco Central Food Center and where all our food is. So let's get to eating. The first shop we are going to is actually this shop here. It's Hong Chong Wantan Noodles. And of course, you have Wantan Noodles here. Okay, the char siu here is typical uh, Singaporean style where the out outside is very red. It's not very uh, caramelized, it's not very char and it's just sweet, slightly sweet and slightly tough. Okay. But uh, this shop uh, does serve the uh, char siu in the Singapore style and they also have some uh, wonton noodles. But what they do well is the noodles here. The noodles here has a very uh, strong uh, soy taste so they use dark soya sauce so it's a it's actually salt savory instead of sweet okay and the noodles itself has a very nice and firm texture almost al dente and it's a really nicely cooked quite a good plate of wonton noodles next item up is uh, Amokyo fried kway from this shop itself 
basically they sell Singapore style fried kway teow. Okay, so uh, you have a choice of three or three fifty. So they fry the kway teow with cockles. And here is the fried kway teow itself. Um, like I said, it's slightly sweet. Uh, this is a Singapore style fried kway teow. It's sweet uh, because they use a, a dark soya sauce to actually flavor the noodles. And they also deep fry it in the wok. And they use a... a one thing different about this... Um, one thing good about this fried kway teow is that when you eat it, you can actually taste the pork blood in the noodles itself. It's not overly sweet, it's not overly... Um, you can't really taste the, the soy, the dark soy thing, uh, dark soy sauce very much. But it has a very nice fragrant um, blood, pork blood taste. And they also add in small pieces of vegetables, which uh, adds a slight a bit of texture to it. And it's very, it's a bit sweet and a bit garlicky. And it's actually not too bad. Quite a good plate of um, chao kway teow. I actually quite like it, uh, not too bad, uh. not too bad. Next up is uh, from food from this store called Fried Hokkien Prawn Noodles. This store serves Singapore style uh, Hokkien Prawn Noodles. So basically what they, what's, in, what's important about this dish is that they use a very good flavorful seafood stock to cook the noodles in okay. and what happens is the noodles itself is supposed to absorb all that stock and then infuse the flavor from the stock into the noodles itself so this is a very popular uh, Singapore dish and not many people can do this well it takes many many years to perfect the skill for that and one thing about these noodles if you can see as I move my chopsticks through the noodles the sauce itself actually stick to the noodles itself and if I do pull the noodles back too much the sauce also will retreat together with the noodles so this seafood thick sweet from the seafood stock actually clings to the noodles so when you eat the noodles itself it is actually very very flavorful because the stock itself has been carefully done and full of flavor full of seafood goodness and if you do try come here this is a highly recommended dish for you to try very delicious very yummy I makes me hungry just looking at it another store here that sells a Singapore uh, only dish called uh, the shop is called Central Satay Bihun. Satay Bihun itself is a very Singaporean dish where they can combine different elements to actually make this dish. I tried this dish itself. I find that um, the sotong or the squid and the pork itself is actually overcooked, so it's slightly tough. The prawns is fresh, but what is good about this dish is um, the peanut sauce that they use for the uh, satay bihun. This peanut sauce is has the right amount of uh, ingredients in it. It has enough peanuts. It is flavorful enough. It's sweet enough. It's savory enough. It's just, I mean, just a very good peanut sauce that goes very very well with the bihun and besides the fact that the other items are overcooked but the sauce itself is actually what what I think I think this shop is a uh, good uh, what makes this shop famous so if you do like satay bihun and you don't mind that the other uh, some of these like the sotong is overcooked this is actually quite a nice dish because of the satay sauce itself the satay sauce is what makes the dish. Okay.
Okay, next up is Yunos and Family. They sell uh, Malay uh, food, which is right at the corner there. Okay. What I ordered from them is their Mi Rebus Tari. I have no idea what it was when I ordered it, but basically Mi Rebus Tari means they put in satay. So they'll ask you what type of satay you want. And this is the uh, satay sauce, and this is the gravy for the Mi Rebus. Okay, so and this is the satay. So basically, I ordered mutton, but you can also can have it with beef or chicken. So you just mix it all up together and eat it. Okay. Um, first of all, the Mi Rebus itself is actually not. I was expecting the Mi Rebus sauce itself to be a bit sweet. But this sauce itself is actually savory. But even though it's savory, not to what I expect, this sauce is very smooth, very thick, and quite rich. And it's actually once you eat it, it coats your mouth nicely, all your your tongue, and it, it tastes all the goodness in it. So overall, it's a very yummy and good mirabus. Thank you very much for joining me for my food adventure here at Amokyo Central Food Center. The food here, what can I say? You have seen the food. The food here is good. There's lots of good food. And there's even more food which I have not featured yet, which you can come here and try for yourself. So please do. You will not uh, regret it. Even though it's in the heartlands of um, Singapore, which is Amokyo, it's um, basically in Singapore, everywhere is uh, accessible either by the MRT or by the bus. And you do not have to travel far to look for good food. But if you do want good food, you must go to the places where the good food is. and. These places most of the time do not have air conditioning. Anyway, I do hope you like what you see. And if you do, you know what to do. Share, like and subscribe. And don't forget, the most important thing, join me for my next food adventure. And bye-bye.